a limit might not exist. There are three main reasons that a limit might not exist, and we'll run through each of these in turn. Reason one, for a limit as x approaches c to exist, it should not matter which side of c x is approaching it from. To illustrate that, let's look at a piecewise defined function. x squared when x is less than or equal to zero, x plus one when x is greater than zero. And let's go to Desmos and investigate what happens as x approaches zero. Here we are, here's the graph, here we'll create a table of values. So we'll approach zero, let's say one, uh, point one, Point zero one, point zero zero one, point zero 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 one, point zero 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 one. And we look at what the function is doing, and it sure looks like it's approaching one. Like maybe we should say that the limit is one. However, let's now approach zero from the other direction. We'll start at negative one then negative point one, negative point zero zero one, negative point zero 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 one. And now something different is happening. These values are approaching zero. So which is it? Is the limit approaching one or is the limit approaching zero? Well, the answer is neither. In a situation like this, the limit simply doesn't exist. 